Zelensky reporting there. Now, the FBI has lost crucial text messages sent by its employees, which could have shed light on some of the anti-Donald Trump bias within the agency, particularly over the so-called Trump-Russia investigation. US Attorney General Jeff Sessions has already said the Justice Department is looking into what happened, while Republicans are demanding a special counsel be set up over the matter. Samira Khan reports from Washington. Months of text messages between two FBI staffers linked to the Trump-Russia probe have gone missing. One of the agents is Peter Strzok. He oversaw the investigation into alleged Russian interference. Now, he was also part of Robert Mueller's team that was looking into supposed collusion between Trump and the Kremlin. Prior to that, the Clinton email investigation, which went nowhere. And then there's Lisa Page, a lawyer for the Department of Justice who also worked for Robert Mueller. The couple came into prominence back in December when their private text conversations were released to Congress. God, Hillary should win. I know. And maybe you're meant to stay where you are because you're meant to protect the country from that menace. Thanks. It's absolutely true that we're both very fortunate. And of course, I'll try and approach it that way. These text messages prove that both Strzok and Page were biased in favor of Hillary, and the messages even hint at some nefarious political activity. So when they wanted to dig deeper, it turned out the rest of their conversations had disappeared. The FBI ascribed the data loss to misconfiguration issues related to rollouts, provisioning, and software upgrades that conflicted with the FBI's collection capabilities. But let's look at the time frame of these text messages. December 14th, 2016 through May 17th, 2017. And when did Mueller's investigation into Russian collusion start? Oh look, May 17th, 2017. Surprisingly convenient. The timing is just too coincidental. It seems that they were trying to plant the evidence somehow as an insurance policy, thinking that Trump had no way of getting elected. And then when he did, scrambling in order to try to stop the election uh, or to create the necessity of an impeachment of Trump. They were conspiring inside the FBI to figure out how to catch Trump on some sort of, uh, you know, uh, criminal activity, uh, having a Russian connection, Russian money laundering, uh, being involved with Putin in the, in the Russian Trump collusion, uh, of which they provided zero evidence. Well, the revelation of the FBI's key data slip does come just days after another intelligence agency had reportedly lost crucial documents. The National Security Agency says it deleted information it earlier had pledged to retain, saying they sincerely regret the mistake. The information was related to the presidential surveillance program during George W. Bush's time in office. The PSP Internet content data matched criteria that were broadly used to delete data of a certain type in response to mission requirements to free up space and improve performance of the backup system. The NSA has no reason to believe at this time that the content data was specifically targeted for deletion. The data in question was controversially collected in the aftermath of the 9-11 terror attacks. It was initially ordered by a court to be preserved for further examination, but has now been erased along with all the backup tapes. The information was deemed important too to a number of pending lawsuits. Former NSA director and whistleblower William Binney told us that this sort of data tends to disappear far too often. It's a way of covering your backside so that uh, when the investigations start and they get uh, they they just can't let that data be exposed that's all it's uh, just more evidence of their criminal activity the department of defense inspector general did the same thing with material against whistleblowers even the, when the whistleblowers were in a court under under criminal accusation in a criminal trial they destroyed evidence and it was only because it was exculpatory and they didn't want that out so no nah, this is all deliberate even when they lie in front of congress or to the people of the United States, or even to the president or any of the cabinet heads, it doesn't seem to matter. And there's no accountability here. The intelligence community has so much power. I mean, even Senator Schumer told uh, President Trump that he shouldn't be attacking the intelligence community because they've got so six ways to Sunday to get back at you. And these are the ways they do it. Thank you.